Mosai Productions presents Most Plainin. Hey everyone, how you doing? Huge shakeup today at Rockstar. Rockstar Games co-founder and Red Dead Redemption head writer Dan Hauser to leave company in March. That's kind of crazy. We've had a lot of big shakeups lately from Bioware. Some people are going to Blizzard. Uh, a lot of people are leaving Blizzard or they're being summarily fired. Whichever one, whichever story you end up hearing. Uh, most likely they probably got fired, but whatever, whatever. We're not here to rag on Blizzard. Uh, we're here to figure out what's going on at freaking Rockstar because I don't know about you, but I absolutely love that company. Uh, Red Dead Redemption was a pretty sweet game, though I'm more of a, a GTA sort of dude myself. I, I've really been into this company since the very first GTA uh, game came out. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy that this is happening. So let's go ahead and get into the article, shall we? An SEC report from Take-Two Interactive earlier this month revealed that Rockstar Games Vice President Dan Hauser will be exiting the company in March. Rockstar Games is a subsidiary of Take-Two Interactive. The SEC report, dated February 4th, 2020, detailed, after an extended break beginning in the spring of 2019, Dan Hauser, vice president, creative at Rockstar Games, will be leaving the company. Dan Hauser's last day will be March 11th, 2020. Whoa. Ugh. It continued. We are extremely grateful for his contributions. Rockstar Games has built some of the most critically acclaimed and commercially successful game worlds, a global community of passionate fans, and an incredibly talented team, which remains focused on current and future projects. Hauser was the head writer on iconic games like Bully, Red Dead Redemption. I love Bully, by the way. If you've never played that game, go check it out. It's usually on sale on Steam. Uh, Bully, Red Dead Redemption, Max Payne 3, also a great game, and Red Dead Redemption 2. He was also a writer on the Grand Theft Auto series, including Grand Theft Auto 2 through Grand Theft Auto 5. Leading up to the release of Red Dead 2, Hauser told Vulture that his team at Rockstar Games was working 100-hour weeks to get the game finished. Hauser stated, we were working 100-hour weeks. He would clarify in the statement to, you know, it's kind of crazy that Bounding in the Comics, you know, sort of has that, those two sentences sort of stacked on top of each other. I mean, some would call that redundant, but whatever. <sighs> we were working 100-hour weeks, he would clarify in his statement to Variety, telling them that he was referring to himself and a team of three others. Variety details that his statement explained quote-unquote, the company would never expect anyone else to work that way. Well, if you talk to other people from, say, Blizzard, and the, even the people who created the latest Sonic movie, they have, you could say, horrific, just horrific tales of, uh, of, of crunch hour, zero-hour friggin' uh, uh, projects and other stuff that needs to be done ASAP. And... It's a real shame in this industry that this is sort of the way of the world. Uh, this is how their world works, you know? Uh, y you figure that they would have much better time management. But then again, but then again, you know, I I'm also not in the gaming industry. But it really does suck to see that there are people who are working so hard uh, and, and this amount during the week, you know, I can see why they would just quit the industry because they'd practically die from exhaustion. Anyway, Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive didn't address Hauser's departure initially, but reiterated that Sam Hauser, Dan's brother and a co-founder at Rockstar Games, is still with the company. In Take-Two Interactive's most recent earnings call, executive chairman and executive officer Strauss H. Zelnick Zelnik confirmed the SEC reporting saying so Dan Hauser has been on an extended leave since early 2019. The company has been led since its founding by Sam Hauser who's president of the company and it's an extraordinary team effort and Sam is a great player and coach. Strauss went on to detail that Grand Theft Auto 5 has now sold 120 million units and Red Dead Redemption 2 is up to 29 million units after launching on PC and Stadia. Ha! <laughs> Stadia, oh god. 
They also indicated that Grand Theft Auto Online is expected to have a record year even after launching six years ago. He also detailed that Red Dead Online is also three times year over year and sequentially in its last quarter. You know, it's kind of crazy that they're sort of uh, th they're putting this out there, you know, that they're really uh, trying to focus on how well they're doing financially. It makes me kind of you know, when they when they put stuff out like this, when someone big leaves, it, it's almost I, I guess they're just trying to make sure that the shareholders and all other executives and other uh, uh, suit wearing scum uh, don't panic and leave with the guy especially since this is the vp of the entire company something bad must be really going down in that company if the vp is leaving or if they're trying to get you to focus on the financial success of the company because why would you deflect uh so hard you know towards your uh, your great portfolio your great uh, financial portfolio and yada 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 strauss added so the label is, has never really been stronger we're incredibly optimistic and excited at the same time we're grateful to dan for his contributions and we wish him well dan and sam hauser were executives at bmg interactive before it was acquired by take two the Hauser brothers founded Rockstar Games under Take Two in December 1998. Their impressive resume together includes writing and developing games like Grand Theft Auto, blah, blah, blah. You, you get it. We, we just read that just a minute ago. GTA V, which is released September 2013, was in the top 10 selling games for the past 12 months, ending January 2020, according to NDP. Damn, that really is impressive. I mean, I bought it last year, so... Hell yeah, good for them, good for them. It was the ninth most sold game. While Strauss indicated Take-Two Interactive is optimistic about Rockstar Games going forward, Dan Hauser was a key component to the success of many of the studio's core games. It's a significant loss. And uh, I would say that it's a very significant loss, especially when you have someone of his caliber leaving the company. Once again, I gotta ask what exactly is going on. Having Sam Hauser still with Rockstar should temper the blow left by his brother's departure. There's no doubt that the company will have some big shoes to fill going forward. GTA 6 is highly anticipated, and Dan Hauser's ability to tell a story while navigating the challenging waters of today's current society will be missed on the next project. Will Rockstar be able to continue its high le level of storytelling? Let us know what you think, Rockstar fans. Well, I like to think that there would be no problems whatsoever going forward. I like to think that Rockstar has a pretty competent team as far as uh, storytellers and, uh, and, and just uh, uh, game makers, world builders are concerned. I would like to think that there shouldn't be too many uh, hiccups, uh, too many problems going forward. But the, the bottom line is this. If, they're, if the, the VP is leaving and he's complaining about 100 hour work weeks, these people must be worked a lot harder than is previously indicated by other industry insiders like EA and Blizzard, Bioware, etc., etc., etc. Those companies are notorious for pushing their workers and pushing their developers, their coders, their testers uh, to the absolute brink. And while, yeah, sure, you need to do that, and while, yeah, sure, sacrifices have got to be made, if the VP of the company is complaining about how many hours him and his team, notice that he didn't just say him. He didn't just put it exclusively on himself. He referenced himself and his team. If if they're working that long, then, then how how much is this really? How much of this crap is really going on at Rockstar? Uh, you gotta think to yourself: Are these people? you know well rested are they ready to rock and roll and get on the ball and deliver a really good product that's worth 60 bucks because i hate to think that these uh people who uh do who make our games are absolutely so exhausted constantly and unfortunately with the staggering price tag that every game seems to incur uh it, it seems exactly that this seems to be the new norm and we don't know exactly how the companies are going to improve upon this because i have to say even though even if your company has a ton of like you know nice amenities nice perks and all that like some companies like uh, uh give you like free massage therapy time 
or they'll uh, buy lunch for you and stuff like that. Anyone who's ever been in the industry, comment down below and tell us like your story of what you've gotten or any horror stories, uh, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. But uh, yeah, I, I really hope that uh, Rockstar powers through this going forward, and I hope that it doesn't really destroy the momentum GTA 6 has going for it. Because, like I said, I'm a huge fan of the GTA series, and I've loved every single one that I've ever played. But, anyway, if you liked the vid, go ahead and go ahead and give it a thumbs up, a little thumbsy wumsies, a uh, little subby webbies. You know, you can go ahead and look down there and hit the sub button, because we've gotten subs a lot lately. Y'all been really on the ball, and I really appreciate y'all. Thank you very much, and uh, turn up notifications for when I upload stuff. Okay? You take care.